My name's Lauren Hamilton. I do tours for Troy Taylor's American Hauntings uh, Tour Company, and uh, we've done some tours at the old Williamson's Funeral Home here in Jacksonville, Illinois, now home to the Jacksonville Theater Guild. Um, it was in its past life, it was the profit boarding house. It, board, it, it uh, kept uh, male and female actresses that were here to perform at the Strong Opera House, which was downtown. Uh, later on, it became Williamson's Funeral Home, and it was that for 55 years. And uh, now it's been home to the Jacksonville Theater Guild for 11 years, I believe. Uh, we got called into there because of some of the employees had some strange activities. Um, electronic equipment turned on and off, objects moved, things of that nature. Uh, what we have experienced there is uh, some extremely uh, odd EVPs. Uh, some that uh, you can hear a cat in some of them. You can hear a uh, like a, a brass instrument, like a tuba or a trombone playing, uh, and some uh, voices, uh, voices uh, that hold on conversations. My own particular belief is that it didn't, doesn't really have anything to do with the funeral home per se. I think it still has to do with uh, when it was the profit boarding house and now the fact that it's the theater guild I think some of the actors are uh, still performing today. One of the uh, theater guild uh, board members uh, told me of the story when they uh, Moved there. They bought the building and they were moving the property and their their personal equipment and that. And they uh, uh, were upset because someone they heard the organ playing, and uh, they were upset that someone was playing the organ and and not helping them move and and pack the boxes and what what have you. And uh, when they went inside, uh, there wasn't any organ. The funeral home had already moved it out. But what we've gotten in the past has been a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, EVPs. Um, they're very clear, and uh, like I say, just an animal, um, an instrument, uh, just just odd. Not 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 EVPs that are answers to a direct line of questioning, uh, but just uh, odd EVPs that uh, I think. Maybe a clarinet, a lot of musical instrument. Maybe. Again, I think personally it has more to do with when it was the uh, boarding house than than the funeral home. I mean, coming to the funeral home sounds cool, you know, but I think it has more to do with that. But then again, I don't know if it's so much the location itself or the objects in the location. I mean, you know, the theater guild—it's a home for costumes, and they've got costumes and relics and things that have been donated from uh, everywhere north to south. So I don't know if it's not the objects in, instead of the, the location itself. So the cool thing, and again, I don't know if you guys want to put this on, on camera or not, when you go into the kitchen the area that they use now uh, was the embalming room. You'll see the big sink and you'll look and see the hooks on the walls and, and things like that. And I, what better uh, turn than making it into a kitchen? What areas of the building do you think would be the best for us to focus our energy on if we had to spend more time in certain places? Um, I would, uh, the second or third floor, definitely. Uh, the second floor was the where the family lived. Uh, the third floor was where they kept the caskets. That's where you came and shopped, if you would. Um, shop till you drop. Shop till you drop. That's a good, I never thought of that. I'll have to use that. They also have a small stage and uh, they actually have it in what was one of the viewing rooms uh, for the funeral home. So maybe down there, but I would, I would definitely concentrate the second and third floor. Another thing you might look for is uh, when you look at the house from the outside, it gives, it almost gives a feeling of foreboding, really. And uh, we've caught some uh, strange images, faces, figures, things like that in the windows looking outward. So you might try that too. Yeah, just because the funeral home doesn't mean it's fine because it's a funeral home. Yeah, I mean it. I, and it totally, you know, I mean it's it's we put it on a tour schedule and it's probably fastly growing as one of the most popular locations. But I really think that's yeah. what it has to do with, you know, and especially this time of year, we'll be there. 
um, the last Saturday in October, and we're sold out. And I think it's that, you know, it's Halloween weekend, you're going to a funeral home, that type of thing, you know, or what used to be a funeral home. Uh, What's so, the book you got uh, The book is Haunted, uh, Illinois Hauntings, and um, basically it was co-written um, by my buddy Troy Taylor and some of the uh, staff of the uh, American Hauntings Tour Company. And what we uh, did, uh, we, from as far north as Cook County, and as far south as Lebanon and all points in between places that we normally investigate or do uh, the tours. Uh, we put uh, some of the history of those locations in our own personal experiences and no the funeral home's not in the book. Uh, people have always asked me, well why isn't it a funeral? Basically because I forgot. To be quite honest, you know, I'm going through the list and I'm like, okay, I think I've got my ten or whatever that's in there. and. Uh, I totally forgot, so now I'm forced to write book two. So, <laughs> darn the luck. So, um, but it's done real well, and uh, you know, Troy's been doing the tour since 97, 97, 99, and it only took us this long to come up with this idea for a book. So.